Good morning. It's uh, morning of day two here. Um, I'm gonna head back to that spot where I roosted that bird last night. It was extremely windy all night. The wind stopped for a while there, and now it's picking back up again. Um, hoping it's not gonna be quite as windy when we get down to that bottom. But uh, super clear skies, or at least they were. Looks like there's a haze coming in. That looks like it's shaping up to be a pretty decent morning of turkey hunting. Just hope he's gobbling and fired up this morning. Mm. And we'll see if we can bag us a bird today. I'll see you guys when I get out there. set up. I got Michael out at about 25 yards ish. The gobbler's already woken up and he's gobbled a handful of times which is perfect. It is really windy still. I think they're gonna come down here though. But I don't know if they're gonna pitch down or if they're gonna walk down or what. So I got a pretty good hide here. I feel like it's a pretty good setup but We'll see how this goes. I've got pretty high hopes for this morning. still gobbling up on top. I know I heard hens last night, so I'm assuming they're with hens right now. Not much else you can do right now until either the hens bring them this way or they decide to come this way. Yeah, I think they might even be moving away from me right now. Probably following hens. All right, so I know for sure now they're moving off to the side, heading the direction where they popped out yesterday. So I'm gonna head down that way and try to get there before they do. I followed these birds a couple hundred yards probably and they're still on the move they're flying right now I can't tell if they're 
down on the bottom though, or if they're still up top. It sounds like they might be in the bottom. Plus with the wind and the terrain, I'm not exactly sure how far they are. The last gobble I heard, it sounded like they were probably a good at least 100, 200 yards. I can't really tell. But I think they're probably following hens right now, would be my guess. Maybe the hens will work off and we'll see. See what happens, I guess. This is this wind is a real pain. But I'm just gonna keep moving up. I guess the good thing about the wind is it makes it easier to move. But uh sure makes it hard to hear. I'm right at the point where I just can barely hear these turkeys as it is. It's very windy today. Um, I decided to move down the valley here and I set up in that spot where I saw them strutting yesterday. They were moving down this ridge behind me this morning after I'd set up. Uh, I can't hear them gobbling anymore. The wind isn't helping any. I don't know if they went over the ridge the other side or who knows where they went. I'm pretty certain they're hend up right now anyways. There may not be anything you can do. These turkeys move quick though. They weren't moving like this yesterday. They took off this morning. Just hoping they gobble at some point so I can figure out where they're at.
Well, you all saw what happened. I don't have to do a whole lot of explaining here, I don't think. But, uh... Yeah, it seemed to work out this morning. So I set up over here. This is that bottleneck I was talking about yesterday. This is where I saw them strutting around yesterday when I came in from the other side and looped around. But, uh... I figured they'd probably be through here at some point during the day. I ended up shooting the one that was not the strutter. This is the subordinate Tom, but uh, he's the one with the messed up tail fan. You know, it's not all about the your trophy or whatever. It's to me, it's about the experience, and you know that the experience and the fun is it's over once you pull the trigger. So. But I took this one because it's the only one that actually had any length of beard. It's like an inch long. Uh, when I checked the footage in the camera yesterday, I almost thought they were Jake's at first. But actually the New Mexico regulations say that you can shoot two bearded turkeys. And that the other turkey didn't have what well, looked didn't look like it had a beard at all, so. It, that other turkey was real nice looking. That would have made a nice mount. And this one will make a nice mount too. It's not as nice and white as the other one. There's a little bit of more cream in his feathers, but and his spurs are nothing to talk about. But of all the turkey hunting I've ever done, this is, of all the things that have happened in two days, this is the hunt that, you know, I'll be talking about this one for a while, I think. Pretty thankful today. Thankful for Nas for letting me go, and she's staying at home watching the kids. But yeah, my brother's gonna be here at two o'clock. It's almost nine o'clock right now. So I'm gonna get this bird back to camp, clean it up, and uh, I'm gonna try to get on another one. I got another tag to fill, so. I'm not going to hunt this area anymore, but these are the only two gobblers I saw and heard. I'm not going to take out the entire turkey population in this valley. You know, this might be a potential place to come back to someday. So, Don't want to ruin that opportunity for myself or somebody else, you know. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. It was, uh, it was an awesome last couple days, so... My first Merriam's too, by the way. Travis arrived in camp later that afternoon. We spent the next two days hunting other areas while climbing some pretty steep terrain, which was exhausting, but you do what you gotta do when turkey hunting. We ended up not filling my second tag, but we did hear some gobbles and got fairly close to a roosted gobbler on the final morning. Also, this was Travis's first time turkey hunting, and he got the full experience of all the soreness and sleep deprivation that comes with my style of turkey hunting. But it was a fun experience to do that together. New Mexico is a pretty wild place. I'll never recommend one state over another just because they have their own unique attributes. I will say, however, that New Mexico provides some stunning views and holds a variety of different species of wildlife that were pretty neat to observe. I'm very thankful for the opportunity to have hunted there, and I'm really looking forward to turkey hunting out west again and chasing those Merriam Gobblers.